Cold 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 Welcome to the MLU Game of the Week. I'm Colin Shearstead with my partner, Sean Webb. Tonight we've got a premier matchup against the two undefeated teams in the West Coast League, the San Francisco Dogfish versus the Seattle Rainmakers. Should be a great game, Sean. Yeah, it should be very exciting. Um, this is uh, Seattle's first away game, so we'll see uh, what they'll be like, you know, away from the confines of, of home. Um, however, both, both teams missing a lot of their key players. Yeah, a couple of injuries and a couple of other commitments taking some of the players away from this game. I know that 40% of the Dogfish's offense is, their usual offense is not here tonight, or the scoring, I should say. They're going to have to make up with that with their bench. See how that... And, yeah, the Dogfish do have a very deep bench, but Seattle also missing several of their players. Um, Exton, uh, Titcomb, uh, Matty Zemel, BJ Sefton, and a couple others aren't here. So it should be... Uh, really is a game of, you know, whose bench is, is deepest here. Yeah, absolutely. I know the Dogfish activated Gary Dixon, James Hansel, Samuel Adamson, Alexander Brammer. So we'll see. A uh, good opportunity for these guys to jump in and, and uh, prove that they're, uh, they're great players and get some playing time tonight. Definitely. And it's going uh, to be an interesting game. It's, it's typical San Francisco summer weather, so that means it's cold, foggy, and windy. <laughs> was beautiful this morning, but that sun went away, and we've got the fog. We've got a east, looks like a west-east wind going or on your screen left to right as I was down on the field earlier. It's going to make it definitely interesting for these players to get the, uh, get the discs off and in the air. Definitely. What would you say are some of the, uh, some of the key points for, uh, for each team in order to, for them to win this game? Well, for Seattle, it's definitely mental toughness. I mean, you can almost guarantee that any break SF creates will turn into a run. Even without their four, star, four stars here, it's, more, it's definitely more of an athletic team, a um, little bit taller in size. Seattle is, well, is a, as we mentioned, without their three most reliable offensive weapons. And uh, for Seattle, it's going to be switching up the D. Seattle has to throw the defensive kitchen, if you will, at the kitchen sink at SF as they make adjustments quickly. They also have to come out swinging on man D as they'll have to physically push offensive players around in order to contain them. Look for them to draw a lot of penalties here. Right. Well, for SF, you know, it's, it's, it's go big. Um, apparently, you know, Seattle sort of struggles in the air a bit. And a space that SF is quite good in, although there's, you know, some of the players that they're missing, Kittredge, Cochran, Taylor, um, all fantastic um, players in the air. So they're not there. So that, that will, you know, help Seattle. Right, and uh, San Francisco needs to needs to get on some runs. Seattle has never, uh, not once, been down in a game this season, and so who knows what they'll be able to play like if you know they got pressure on, the time on, they need to catch up, they have to maybe get out of their ri constant rhythm. So, so you'll have to put the disc in the air more to gain against the clock, which plays to San Francisco's height and advantage, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely, and. Seattle leads the league in uh, point differential, so they've been scoring a lot, and uh, their D has been holding other teams to fewer, whereas whereas the Dogfish have, um, you know, they won their first game, I believe, by four points, and then last week it was definitely a barn burner against uh, Vancouver, where they won in the last 20 seconds of play. It was uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, definitely. They um, tied up with one minute to go, and they worked the disc down the field, down at the goal line, called a timeout. 20 seconds left and uh, got the score in to win it, the, win it by one at the end. Very exciting game.
Yeah, welcome back. We had some other games going on earlier today. We have Portland uh, versus Vancouver and uh, Boston versus New York, Philly versus D.C. And uh, that Portland-Vancouver game, both those teams uh, undefeated so far, so that's going to be a big game for one of those teams. Boston is also undefeated, and uh, New York has uh, not won a game yet. You have a score, Sean, for the one of those games? Uh, I think they're, that's slowly coming in. We'll coming find in. Out. But, yeah, this is a I- interesting setup for the for the, for the for rest of the season. Winner of this game, obviously undefeated, will be three and zero, and then right, you know, some, someone's going to win the uh, the Portland um, Vancouver game. So, you know, I think it's nice, not nicely shaping up for the winner. Really, is in pole position you know, to uh, just continue with the rest of the season. Everyone sort of seen each other once, be able to figure out what to do. Absolutely, and this game really important for both these teams because they don't play each other again until the middle of June. So it's going to be important for one of the teams to assert themselves and show that uh, they are the better team with that big break. Definitely. Yeah, you can make keys again. Well, um... Yeah, the, the, the keys to the game, I think we already talked about this um, already, but uh, Seattle, obviously, as you said, mental toughness. They haven't really, uh, haven't really been down yet in any right. of the, uh, um, their, their, their games, and we'll see what it's like, you know, this first game away from their stadium. And they'll have to really, you know, throw a, a variety, as you said, a variety of different defenses uh, just to sort of keep San Francisco on their toes. Last week they had a close game with Portland uh, up through the half, and then they won a 6-1 run in the third quarter and then held a lead on. From there, so they really surged coming out of that halftime. They've also scored within uh, gr- before, right before going into the at the end of the quarter, uh, almost half the time. So they've been able to control the clock and use those last seconds going into the end of the quarter to uh, result in a score. So that's something to look for tonight as well. Definitely, and both teams coached by very experienced veterans of the game: Ben Wiggins for Seattle and Justin Safty on San Francisco side. So. Be interesting to see if they have any uh, any tricks up their sleeves that they'll pull out. You know, right. end of the game um, management, etc. Um, you know, last week when San Francisco, you know, they had 26 seconds to score, they called a timeout. You know, I think 10 seconds left, and they came up with the play, which which was perfect. Um, but yeah, so clock management will be should, should certainly be interesting, and certainly a uh, imagine a not the cleanest game today with all the wind out there. Right. Imagine a, whoever can take advantage of the drops. Absolutely, and uh, we'll see how the uh, the eighth man comes into play tonight. That is, of course, the fans can certainly uh, make a difference for the home team, getting them excited, showing some energy. Well, yeah, they'll certainly need to do something energetic because it is freezing it's out there. It's very cold out there. You see, I mean, this is this is winter weather. So they're used to it. I think they. Uh, I I see them. I see layers. I see blankets. So uh, they're ready to battle the the cold. You know, you can follow uh, both of these teams on social media, uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter. Uh, for the Dogfish, you go to Facebook.com forward slash San Francisco Dogfish. And on Twitter.com forward slash SF Dogfish. And for the Rainmakers, it's Facebook.com forward slash Seattle Rainmakers. And Twitter.com forward slash SEA Rainmakers. So you can keep up to date. Like them on Facebook. Sign up on Twitter so that you get up-to-date news, injury reports, and other information for your favorite teams. And even follow some of the games. Absolutely. Also, they kind of get feeds going, so definitely sign up. They'll be using uh, Innova Disc as our sponsor. The Pulsar Disc was designed in cooperation with players and staff of the, F- uh, the MLU. It's a perfect disc for the pro game, and uh, supposedly it's supposed to fly a little better, a little more accurate in the wind, so that's something that we can look for tonight. Yeah, it's definitely. It definitely took the players, you know, a, a couple of minutes or a couple of minutes, you know, a couple of attempts to get used to right. the path of the disc. But I think, you know, most of them really, really enjoy it. So. Yeah, I've been playing with it for the last uh, couple of weeks, and uh, and I enjoy it as well. So the lip is a little bit different; it's a little straighter, not quite as curved. Uh, I think you get a slightly different, uh, tighter grip on it. And we'll see how many players are wearing um, gloves tonight. Another one of our sponsors, Friction Gloves, that can definitely. Make a difference, especially on a cool night like this with the wind, having those gloves on 
giving you a little extra grip on the disc. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they'll need it. We see the fans strolling in. Typical uh, Frisbee time, if you yeah. will. All right. Well, I think, you know, before the uh, the lineups are announced and the game begins, we're just going to take you out to a little break right now. And we're back. Uh, people saw trucking in here. They've got all their, their clothes on. Dougie's greeting them at the door. And that's a greeting right there. When you, you see Dougie coming in, you know you're in for an exciting game. Yeah. Look at that guy. There he's he a, is. He's a world-class athlete. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I know. He's pretty hard to see. And here comes Seattle out of the... Uh, out of the tunnel. Out of the tunnel. They seem cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I they're coming out. They're surprised that they don't have the fog and the, the lasers that they usually have when they when they play at home, right. coming out of the tunnel. It's a lot of players. Seattle, um, as we mentioned earlier, are missing some of their uh, some of their uh, bigger players. Um, Matt Zemmel, Exton Titcomb, Jacob Spittle, and uh, Matt Rader, Joe Sefton, and Phil Amari. They're all uh, out of town. But San Francisco also missing some of their their players. Actually, uh, Bo Kittredge, Ashlyn Joy, Mac Taylor, and Martin uh, Cochran have been responsible for forty percent off the goals for San Francisco in the first two games of the season. So San Francisco are really going to have to uh, dig deep and go to that bench in order to uh, to ring this game. But I think they can. I mean, th this is Absolutely. a very deep, deep team. And there was a yes. lot of players at the tryouts here. Um, it was a tough choice for, for the coaches and, and general manager to choose, you know, choose the right team. So they're going to be good. We're certainly fortunate with so many great players in the, the Bay Area. And you could certainly say the same for Seattle. Some really amazing club teams up there to choose from, and I'm sure their combine was uh, equally as intense and difficult to make the team. Definitely. You could see the... Uh, Seattle's lining up, and San Francisco should be coming out soon. Too far. I guess they're uh, they're announcing the the Seattle lineup right now, but we can uh we can do the same so you guys can hear out there. Uh, number one, Donald Clark. He's a defender cutter. Number three, Mario Bryan, another defender handler. Daniel Tretak is a cutter handler. Alan Laviolette, uh, number seven. Number nine, Sam Harkness. Uh, number eleven, Reed Koss. Number 13, Matthew Sewell. Number 15, Benjamin Beaner. Number 16, Mark Burton. 
Number 18, Bryson Urgfox. Number 20, Adam Chicken Simon. Number 21, Tyler Kinley. Number 22, Sean Sears. Number 23, Danny Karlinski. Number 25, Frank Barrich. Number 28, Seth Wiggins. Number 40, Adam Holt. And number 77, Elliot Trotter. And they're, uh, they're all sitting there getting warming up. And you can see Danny Karlinski sort of cutting back and forth. I think he's going to be one of their, uh, their main offensive handlers. Player to watch tonight for sure. So they're getting ready to announce the dogfish lineup tonight. Fifth. Unclear where they are right now, but you know, should be coming in soon. I think they come in from a giant hot air balloon. Be, that would be awesome. That would be fantastic. Um, Danny Karlinski actually uh, went to school at Santa Cruz, so he... Mm. As did I. Oh, really? Yes. Fantastic. Imagine at a different time, though. Possibly slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> The crowd seems to be getting excited. I imagine the dogfish are making an entrance somewhere. Either that or they're stuck. I think they're like Spinal Tap. They're trying to find the stage. Yeah. Walking around. I'd like to create that anticipation. Yeah, you know. Be yeah. We should mention some of the differences in the MLU rules to Club Ultimate. One of the you can see the field size. Looking at it right now, it's as wide as a football field, 53 and a third yards. It's 120 yards long, 80 yards in play, with 20 yards of end zone on each side. And this wider, longer field does definitely favor the offense. On defense, I've in the couple games I've seen, I haven't seen much zone. They throw it on very briefly sometimes for you know when the team's working up the field and they stop back in the man. But of course, there is the double team, which well, the double team has been like quite effective. Zone. Yes, um, especially uh, any any sort of sideline trap. You throw in an extra guy there, and mm -hmm. pretty much the only real way to get you know I, we've seen people break that is through you know scoobers to the middle of the field and. Yep. That can create all sorts of excitement. So, yeah, the double team is a, a really huge advantage for, for the defense um, and certainly makes things exciting. And I, I think, you know, for the first couple of games, San Francisco's strategy is to, to certainly put the uh, double team on any time there near the sideline. Absolutely. And it definitely forces your players to have in their arsenal all sorts of throws to get out of that. Of course, the scooby you mentioned, the hammer. And, you know, once again, you know, once they do get out of that, that's a perfect opportunity for a really quick fast break right you can go up the other sideline there's someone who's going to inevitably be very open absolutely um, that is the risk of throwing that double team on as you are leaving a player open however you know in san francisco with you know with the wind being the, uh, the eighth member of the team here mm -hmm. uh, they could certainly use that to their advantage absolutely right. well, san francisco players here uh, Standing in the uh, uh, in the tunnel, eagerly oh, trying to get out. And here they come. At least one of them does. <laughs> and that's Adam Farron, number zero. And Devin Anderson, number five, offensive cutter. This is Sam Adamson here. And then as you have the rest of them, we'll read down the roster. Drew Kim, number six. Russell Wynn, number seven. Number eight, Patrick Bayless. Number nine, Cassidy Rasmussen. Number 10, James Pollard. Number 11, Zachary Travis. Number 12, Sam Kenner. Number 13, Tyler Grant. Number 16, David Abram. Number 19, Yo Kawaoka. Number 20, Nikolai Schlag. Number 23, Jordan Jeffrey. Number 25, Will Chen. Number 34, Evan Boucher. Number 35, Lucas Dahlman. And number 80, Kevin Smith. And uh, the Dogfish have activated a couple of extra players. Uh, James Hansel, Sam Adamson, and number 14, Alexander Brammer. 
I think he's one to watch tonight, John. Alexander Brammer. Uh, he's uh, he's huge. He is definitely a big boy. It was actually quite interesting during the warm-ups to see him and Tyler Grant guarding each other. There was a lot of big bodies bouncing off each other. It was very exciting. And big personalities. Yes, that too. <laughs> quite a long run-up they have to go to to get to that pitch yeah, It's there. quite far away, isn't it? Certainly like an 80-meter sprint. Here come the coaches. Uh, Matt Ruby, really assistant coach there. Justin Safty behind him. Ariel Jackson, so the younger of the assistant coaches certainly gets to the line a lot quicker than the other two. <laughs> he was saying quite a long run for the coaches. Yeah. That's their workout for them. <laughs> They're done. Yeah. The uh, crowd is still pouring in right now. Look, he's doing his dance. Dougie is, someone has been teaching him how to Dougie. He was pretty terrible at it the first game. I think he's improved slightly at this point. I think each week they call a fan down to uh, help Dougie do the Dougie. Oh, well, that's, that's a good thing. We have the, the refs out here this time. Uh, each each home team has their own set of referees. Um, so there's, um, you know, they don't have to they have to travel. And they have a rotation of six, I believe. So right. um, there's always a new referee in there just getting used to it. Uh, two other referees are critiquing and commentating and helping them out. And so even, they are, even though they are the home team refs, they're completely unbiased. Yes, certainly. That's a difference in this game. Of course, having refs out there making all the calls, including the seven-second stall counts. Joshua Greeno seems to be on the field now. I think he's, yeah, he's doing something with the officials. It's un unclear what he's doing. I believe he They're could be the uh, celebrity coin toss. Yeah, well, that's exciting. That is Joshua Greeno. Uh, Played for a long time. He uh, went to University of Oregon and also uh, played with uh, San Francisco Jam and Revolver. Won world championship as well as a national championship with them. And I believe he's doing the, the, the coin toss. Wow. The team that wins the coin toss has the right to choose to begin the quarter on offense or defense or choose which end zone to attack or defend first. And then it will flip-flop after that for each quarter. So it does kind of set up throughout the game what the, the result of the coin toss and what the choice is. If you want to be on offense or defense or if it's more important to start at one end of the field. And with this win, that might be more important. Certainly. I mean, they, they obviously switch sides um, at, every, at every end of every period. Um, but, you know... Where do you want to start? Where do you want to end? Right. That is, that's good. You know, the wind fluctuates at all. The wind is pretty consistent here. And uh, they're uh, about to uh, play the national anthem.
That was a very nice rendition of the national anthem right there. And players are getting ready. Crowd is still pouring in. You can see that flag, an indicator of the wind that we have going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. And then see a bit of blue sky there in the corner, but it's a bit of a mirage because the fog is coming in. When the fog comes in in San Francisco, it is not uh, slow. It comes in quickly. And it does not leave. And it, well, it does good. in the morning eventually, but yeah. Actually, the thing with the fog is that it does actually contain the wind a little bit. True. So we shall see, uh, see if that has uh, changes over as the game goes on. But right now, it is windy and it is cold. A lot of these players are used to playing against each other, um, playing uh, with each other, you know, either in college. Um, Danny Karlinski uh, certainly played with um, several of the uh, dogfish players, uh, Russell Wynn, um, Cassie Rasmussen. So, you know, a lot of these guys know each other. They played against each other in, in club, and now they're playing MLU. They'll br be bringing the same, same strategies, I think. Yes, and I know that the San Francisco club teams have done very well against the Seattle teams for the last several years. I believe Seattle has not won in a club matchup in, uh, since 2010. Or maybe, a, no, I think so they've won a game or so, but like, you know, when it right, counted. Right, not a championship. Right, right. right. We'll be playing four 10-minute quarters today. There's a timekeeper on the field that will stop the clock at some fouls, and we'll see the uh, clock count down. Scoring, unlimited scoring potential. No scoring cap at all, just the clock cap. Really, and so that really means that you, you know, certainly it could be a game of runs, but you really can't take any sort of pressure. You can't, you know, the intensity has to be maintained the whole time. Absolutely. You want to try and get, you know, score as many points as possible. There's no... You know, unlike you know, ultimately when the games of 15, there's no uh, limit to it. And as we saw uh, in you know, two weeks ago when uh, Portland were down here, you know, San Francisco came up, but Portland did, did make a bit of a run. And then they San did. Francisco, after the uh, in the fourth quarter or fourth period, they certainly went uh, three three quick points, and mm -hmm. that was it. So, and Seattle did the same thing last week with a close game for the first half. I believe they were up by a point, and then they scored they won a six-one run. So. Uh, Runs can happen very quickly. Offense yep. uh, points can happen very quickly. Ten minutes doesn't sound like a lot of time in a quarter, but uh, it's, it's amazing how much scoring can happen at that time. Definitely. Well, it looks like um, Seattle won the toss. or I'm not sure exactly they won the toss, but they chose to start on offense. Uh, they got some certainly got some offensive skill out there. Adam Simon. And uh, Sam Harkness will be there. Meanwhile, on the dogfish side, they have um, Zach Travis, Wynn, Kaoka, Anderson, Bayless, and Dalman on defense, as well as Abram. Looks like Russell Wynn is about to pull. Danny Karlinski and Adam Simon will no doubt be the main handlers here for Seattle. If the dogfish can uh, shut down Karlinski, that will be a huge, huge key for That'll them. That will be huge. Simon picks up the disc to O'Brien. Win is out on O'Brien to Holt. Holt to O'Brien. San Francisco just... Content there. A great bid there by Kaoka. And a big huck there from Seattle. Oh, wow. It looked like the Dogfish player was going to be able to make that D, but an excellent timed jump there by Seattle to, to take the first score, and it's 1 0 Seattle. Mark Burton there with the, the nice read and a great, great jump and, 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 and catch. Well, San Francisco will have to respond. That was certainly the the downwind throw there. Devin Anderson read it well, but just beyond the reach of his outstretched hand. Well, San Francisco will uh, hopefully be able to respond. They have quite a, an offensive line out there with Kim, Grant, Boucher, Rasmussen, Kenner, 
I believe Travis. Oh, sorry, Jeffrey. It's a little hard to tell. We're pretty high up here in the in the booth. We also have Kevin Smith, who is not afraid to uh, let one rip. And he's <laughs> certainly wants to catch the pull. Throws it to Rasmussen. Rasmussen and Grant going deep. Plenty of time. And Grant makes a diving grab and saves it. Fantastic grab there by Grant. There seems to be a stoppage of play, but a bit of a low throw there by Rasmussen, and Grant has to bend low and catch. Oh, apparently it was a turnover. That is, I believe, the spirit of the game play where it was not called a turnover. Wait. But Grant believed it was a turnover, so he gave it to the other team. And Seattle there with a quick break, and number 13, Matthew Sewell. Matthew Sewell with the catch, and so San Francisco really need to uh, just to shake things up a bit. There's you know, a bit of a miscue there, maybe an early, yeah. more, uh, early game play, but we Seattle this, certainly capitalized. Right, John. We saw this a couple weeks ago against Portland where they did come out a little slow. Uh, it takes them a little while to uh, get into the flow of the game, get their energy going, and uh, turn it around. We'll see if that happens tonight. All right. So San Francisco uh, turning out a slightly different line now. They have um, you know, Dahlman, Smith, Boucher, Abram, Rasmussen, Wynn, and Anderson. Let's see what they can do. They'll be going uh, upwind right now. Keep in mind that you can follow, keep up on all the news for uh, MLU, on MLU social media and events from around the league. There are fans from all over the country. I believe there's some dogfish fans out there in Maryland. Tune into the game. Very excited to hear things. Um, so be sure to uh, follow MLU on Facebook at facebook.com MLU Ultimate and follow the league at twitter.com MLU Ultimate. It's a great place to go to see the game of the week that this game is. Right, to pull now. Seattle with a, with a short pull. Picked up by Kevin Smith. He's got plenty of options. To, to win. Win was wide open there. He's looking. He's got Rasmussen. Both of those two guys went to college together, so they know each other very well. Rasmussen is set on the corner. Nice break there to win. Went to Boucher. Boucher with a nice throw there. Kevin Smith. Nice, easy grab for him. And the score. Beautiful play by Kevin Smith getting in there. And a very nice throw by Boucher. It was a, it's a windy throw that could have easily popped up. Absolutely. And he had a, Put that in the corner perfectly, right where Smith could get it without worrying about the defender. And a great answer by the Dogfish. Good and the crowd out. is excited. And they'll probably need a lot of cheering because they'll do something to keep them warm. You see the replay here. Uh, just perfect placement. No chance for the defender to get anywhere near that. And that Santa Cruz connection between uh, Wynn and Rasmussen really uh, really kept things going. That chemistry. See the ref calling the score there. The San Francisco Dogfish on defense has Travis Dahlman. Win Kawoka. That's Abrams there in the corner. Bayless and Anderson. I think the uh, San Francisco at this point, you know, that was a nicely worked uh, score, but I, they're certainly missing some uh, Kittridge and Ashland Joy, who are regulars on the uh, on the offensive line sure. and the uh, defense as well. Yes. Simon with the catch to O'Brien. A great bid there by Bayless. Huge effort. Hope with the disc. And he's out, just up beyond the outstretched arms of his uh, receiver, number 15, Benjamin Beaner. And San Francisco get a chance now to uh, get a break back, and Kaoka's about to pick up the disc. And he immediately with a big huck there to win, wide open. San Seattle puts on a double team. A bit of a floppy dive there, but distracted uh, win just enough when he threw it beyond uh, Bayless's hand. We saw the quick double team there. We'll see if the Seattle threw it on. And Seattle being able to walk the disc to the line. Win will be guarding. Seattle going with a vertical stack here. It seems to be a bit of a throwback. Most of the Frisbee these days at the high levels being playing with a horizontal stack. Mm -hmm. Simon with the disc. Being closely guarded by Travis. Puts a floaty throw there, but Karlinski runs it down easily. Oh, 
San Francisco playing very tight defense, giving Seattle really no looks. They're going up win. They have to take it back and forth. The stack is deep. Simon coming back. Holt with the, with the disc. And Seattle slowly working it up the field. Karlinski. O'Brien. Over with a big throw. Wow, what a great catch. Perfect throw there by Seattle. I think uh, Yo Kawoko was a little surprised by that throw. He didn't really hear the up call. And Seattle responds nicely after their early turnover. And that is 3-1 the Rainmakers. Well, San Francisco will be receiving the disc up win. They did a great way of... Uh, Great, great. Worked it out really well, actually, the first time around, and hopefully they'll be able to do that again. They have Farron out there with Chen, Boucher, Rasmussen, Bremer, Jeffries, and Smith, I believe. First look at uh, Bremer tonight and for the season. Called up from the practice squad. I can imagine he's going to go really hard. He was going really hard in warm-ups, looking yes. to uh, looking to, to you know to impress the coaches, mm-hmm. um, show what he can do. He's you know tough guy to guard, big body, works super hard. And I think they believe there's been a bit of a delay of game, and Seattle will have to pull from five yards back. Tyler Kinley with the with the pull. And it is a, uh, a blady pull that goes about three quarters of the field. Kevin Smith picks up the frisbee. Meaty looking deep, throws to Boucher. San Francisco going with a horizontal stack and a quick uh, drop there by uh, number four. Bit of an unforced error there. Yeah. I believe that's James Hansel. Ooh, dangerous throw. Tyler Kinley with a dangerous throw, but it's Colt Will Chen, closely guarded. San Francisco defense is really putting a lot of pressure on and making it very difficult for San, uh, Seattle. Trotter. Trotter streaking to the end zone, and another score there for Seattle. Seattle really, their offense is just really clicking right now. They're, they're, they're very patient. San Francisco is shutting down their first couple options, but Seattle's being very patient, looking for an open man, looking for the dump. And when yep. there is a break, they are fast breaking very well. They're in a very good rhythm right now, making smart cuts. And that was that scuba you saw. That was a, a high stall throw, but Seattle came down with it. Trotter with a nice, easy score in the, in, in the corner. See Trotter immediately made that cut into the end zone after getting rid of the disc. And Birich had a really nice easy throw to him. He really couldn't do anything wrong there. Well, San Francisco down by three. Early. But going down win, they have Kenner, Smith, Boucher, Grant, Rasmussen, Jeffries, and Kim. And that is a very high pull there. Wow. Wind is taking that. Coming all the way back. back. But with a much wider field, not out of bounds. That would have been out of bounds in a regular ultimate field. Good point. Rasmussen has Kenner to Grant. Grant is just workhorse there. He's going to go back and forth. Never never give up, that guy. Rasmussen with the disc. Has Boucher. Nice cut there by Boucher. Has Drew Kim deep. Drew Kim, beautiful cut. Oh, what a great play by Drew Kim. And a very nice throw by Boucher. His first game, he had a few turnovers. A couple of the throws went good. Uh, floating in the air, and he's really been working there the last couple of weeks. And so the, both scores there thrown by Boucher. And uh, nice puts out into space. The crowd's excited about that. Drew Kim doing a little celebrating, as he should. He saw the cut in there. He started to go in, worked out. Perfectly placed in the corner. Wow! Definitely, what and San Francisco throw. really, uh, really caught Seattle in their double, double, double team there. They, they tried to trap Boucher in the corner, but they came in well and did, did a good job. All right, well, San Francisco. See if they can get a break back on defense. They have Travis, Abrams, Wynn, Dalman, Anderson, 
Bayless and Kawoka. Holt with a disc for uh, Seattle. O'Brien, one of their main handlers. And Holt. A lot of quick stuff here for uh, Seattle. And it's a big huck. Kawoka's up there. Travis coming in. Oh, great D there. Travis coming in with the help D there. Coming Beautiful. Read it well and just skied over. This is what we are talking about in the pregame. San Francisco are a bit taller than Seattle there. And so right. That will certainly be to their advantage. Kawaka picks up the Frisbee. Immediately double teamed. But pivots well. And it's fouled on the uh, fouled on the throw. Gets a five-yard penalty against Seattle. Double team back on. Nice bid. Travis with a fantastic bid there. Bayless, the big huck there, going up, looking for win. Win boxing out his player. Pushing. And a great D there by Seattle, number 25, Frank Berich. Let's see that one again. Bayless. A lot of physical play, position. a little yeah. bumping. And a great layout D with his offhand there. Dalman marking up. They're forcing a forcing a home here. Nice little flick there. Nice break there by Holt. <laughs> Seattle moving it very quickly there. A lot deeper throws now, using the wind. Simon with the frisbee, guarded guarded by Zach Travis. To the center of this, Karlinski. O'Brien. 25 yards in the end zone. And oh, a great oh bid there wow. by Kyle Woko. Amazing athleticism there. Just fly in and swat that disc away. A absolutely spectacular layout there by Kyle Woko. He was not having any more of this. He said no. And he has a disc back. Picks it up to Dalman, who's wide open. He's got Bayless. Bayless coming in. He's got Kyle Woko. And another bid there by Kyle Woko to keep the disc alive and immediately hucks it. A little bit excited. Throws to Adam Simon on Seattle who gets the D. But two spectacular plays in a row Great by Kawaka. Great plays. Back to back. And that just gives Holt. up. Who we have a timeout and there's, a, there's a timeout call there. Holt was uh, with the Frisbee about you know, still in his half but 60 yards to go. But Okay. Yeah, Kawaka there, really a, a shame that he didn't have uh, release that just too quickly. But look, he had some. First of all, here's his first defense. Zach Travis comes, gets the D. Perfectly timed jump there. Yeah. And then Barich has another. A lot of, lot of great Ds on this on this point. Um, so there's a timeout called there, I believe, by Seattle. The timeouts can be called either by the player with possession of the disc or the coach, but not by any other player. I think uh, a lot of back and forth here. Probably everyone's just saying, you know, settle down. Feeling each other out. Definitely. Seattle. Seattle's not really made. You know, they made a couple of defensive plays, but most of it's been errors on San Francisco's part. However, San Francisco True. have been made some great defensive uh, plays. Kyle Woka there with a fantastic bid. Right around him. No, no foul. And then... We'll throw that one beyond him, but a great grab. Wow. And then just got a little excited there. It was a good idea, certainly, if he had a little more height to that. Could have been for a score. Adam Simon, great defender, played a went to school in, in Colorado, played in Colorado for a while. He's been around. He's mm -hmm. playing in Seattle, played in Boston, played for a few years here in San Francisco. Game's back on, and there's Simon again with a great flick. Into the corner there, and that was a beautifully thrown flick right there. Just yeah. perfectly placed. Put it into space. Mark, all Mark Burton had to do was run it down and Just run it down, get it at the end of the end zone. San Francisco certainly getting their opportunities to get back in this game, but unfortunately can't you know can't finish here. And Seattle taking taking advantage of their errors. Yeah, sort of. That's what a that's what a good team does. Yeah. 
Here we'll see the, the way they work it up the field. And it's Simon amazing. Hit. Wow. It's a nice break mark Perfect. flick all the way into the corner. And Mark Burton had to take his time. Jog it in. Easily just bring it down. Wow. You know, it wasn't bad defense by San Francisco. Nope. Adam Simon is a fantastic handler. And when the defense is forcing the offense to make a perfect throw, that's not a bad thing. Rasmussen, number 23 on uh, San Francisco there. Jordan Jeffrey, Rasmussen to Boucher. Boucher's had a great game so far. Nice throw to Sam Kenner. Seattle seemed to be perfectly willing to give San Francisco the short throws. Oh, wow. Boucher with another great put to Drew Kim. Boucher has been the player of the game for San Francisco so far. That's three scores. Drew Kim catches his second goal of the, uh, of the match. And that was that was really nice throws. Boucher has really worked on his throws in the last couple of games. And we saw it there in a good combination with Boucher going to Kim again. All right. Kim, a very exciting player, very dynamic. He's got a... Very athletic, great throws, great grabs. Occasionally a little exciting excitement from him, which will, may drive his coaches a little nuts. But <laughs> but you'll take that. When and you the get crowd there. love him. The crowd do love him. 5-3 Seattle. Coach Safty here talking to his other players. What were you saying? Do what Boucher is doing. He is playing well. Russell Wynn pulls it deep. There's two minutes left in this period. Great pull there by uh, Russell wow. Wynn. Simon brings it down to Danny Karlinski. Bert Stack here to number nine, Sam Harkness. Mark Burton. O'Brien. Closely guarded by defensive superstar there, Russell Lins. Fantastic defensive player. Simon with the disc. Karlinski. O'Brien. Uh, Seattle just shredding San Francisco's offense here. Adam Hall with a disc too far there for Harkness. I believe that's Harkness. And uh, San Francisco get an opportunity to get a break back. They, they got go a break there. It was definitely a wide open player and a good look. Kaoka the Frisbee. You can see by his hair that the wind is certainly so strong. Kaoka's a little scuba there out, out to space to win. To Dalman. Kaoka's not afraid to uh, to make a play like that. Oh, Russell wow. Wynn with a fantastic grab. Huge grab. Devin Abrams with the throw there. Win. Swing it around. So that's Greenwood out there. Wow. With a wide, wide open Kaoka. Really good job by the dogfish there. They really were patient. They worked the disc around. Actually, that is Abrams, but he's wearing a Greenwood shirt. Apparently, his shirt's <laughs> in the wash. Um, but that was a great play there. See the patience? They're swinging it around. Nice horizontal movement there. And come all the way back to the other side. Wide open. Wow, you cannot get more open than that. That was my mistake. I read the numbers wrong. That was Abrams is wearing his own clothing. <laughs> Did not need to steal Greenwoods. But that's great for San Francisco. They get a break back, only down by one. Five to four. 35 seconds left. 35.8 seconds left in this uh, period. What are they going to look for? Seattle's probably going to look for a Got to work throws. the disc up, yes, and maybe call a timeout as they get close to the end zone. They've already used one of their timeouts. As I said earlier, Seattle, so far this season, has been very effective at the last seconds of play of, of getting a score right before the break. San Francisco looking to counter that. They've got some of their tall guys there. Jeffries, Bremer, Grant, Pollard, Travis, Anderson, and uh, Wynn. So there's some great, there's some height there to go up any sort of, up against any uh, big, big plays. And a Here's big him. hammer there to a sea of dogfish players. And now a dogfish have a chance. Yeah, they have, they have 25 seconds left on the scope, and they have a timeout. They've got plenty of time here. Nicely working it. Bremer, Grant. It's a lot of a lot of body there on the Frisbee. Oh, uh, the floaty disc. Oh, Travis had a bid, but great D there by Seattle. And then another Seven big seconds. hug. Uh, and 
So six players, three on each team, and that is the end of a quarter. A very exciting way to end the quarter there. Great quarter. Very close score. And we are off to commercial. We'll be back in a bit. are back. The crowd is pretty excited. Um, there was just some shirt tossing into the crowd. Dougie has been given a uh, air gun, and the crowd always loves a free t-shirt. He is dangerous with that air gun. You don't want to be in the front row. For Definitely sure. not. Those things hurt. They're really tightly wrapped up. Assistant coach Rubes there giving uh, some of the sideline players some, some advice and some, some coaching tips from his long uh, playing career. And it's important when you have a roster of this size to keep your players involved, energized, especially on a cold night like tonight. Just keep them focused and uh, ready to go in and be productive when they do get their call. Definitely. San Francisco have quite a, quite a lineup there on defense. They have Travis, Wynn, Dahlman, Abram, Kaoka, Anderson, and Bayless. Hopefully looking to immediately get a break back and take a... Take this period and go into half, you know, off a couple. Seattle have certainly proven that they are working well on offense. Um, but, you know, San Francisco's defense, you know, m maybe a notch higher and something, something exciting Absolutely. can happen. A little more energy. They're certainly playing to their strengths off, you know, every time San Francisco do get a chance. They've actually been more effective when they've worked it up and then look mm -hmm. for that big huck. A mm -hmm. couple times when they've turned it over, the huck's come a little bit too soon. Wind pulls the disc. O'Brien, been given a lot of space here. Wind comes down. Not a lot of tight mark, and now he brings it on. Karlinski to Harkas. To Adam Simon going deep, being guarded there very close. He had a great grab there by Simon. Travis is on him, Dalman. And Simon puts a wow. floaty one up, and a little bit of confusion there, I think, on San Francisco's defense. Simon didn't really have much to do. He just made a great grab, had all the time in the world, and just floated the disc out there. Had so many players to throw to and just put it in a good place. Frank Birich came down with it. Well, not the start San Francisco wanted, but here's the chance for them to really get it back on offense. Get back into that offensive rhythm. they got Boucher, who's been fantastic so far. Smith, Rasmussen, Kim, Grant, Jeffries. See if we get that Kim Boucher combo going again at this point. Definitely. Seattle pull it. Reed Cost there with the nice pull. Floats down to Rasmussen to Jeffrey. Rasmussen 
Kevin Smith, who's looking big here to Tyler Grant. It's big floaty disc. But Grant reads nice that well. Nice by Grant. Great catch. Right outside the end zone. Finds Kim. Double team. And oh, a nice easy beautiful. throw there. Great play by Kim there. Just stay focused and get that nice disc off into the corner. Bayless with a nice hard cut to the corner. There's a... Uh, once again, an example there, Seattle immediately put the double team on, but Drew Kim had his wits about him, looked, pivoted, confused them, and then had Bayless, who's wide open. That's the, that's the tough part. You know, with the double team comes on, it's a little bit of confusion for all the defense to figure out who's picking that immediate cutter. Bayless, intelligent player, came right into the corner and grabbed. Here's, here's Kim with the disc. Immediately here comes a double team and a nice open throw, easy throw there to Bayless in the corner. And that was good stuff by San Francisco. Absolutely. Responding after that quick Seattle point to come back and stay down by just a point now. All right. See how their defense does on this play. Russell Wynn with a, with a good pull. It's been pulling well this game so far. And Adam Simon from Seattle with the disc. Zach Travis is on him. Not really giving much. Harkness. So it's been pretty much how Seattle been going up the line. They go down to the sidelines and they just work it up there. Karlinski, the cross field hammer all the way there to Berich. Ooh. Ooh. And a bit of a dangerous play there by Dalman, but uh, comes in, tries to make the bid in the last second, pulls back, and fortunately. Getting just, a foul here. Yeah, and it's a, a five yard foul. Well, I believe this is actually Ooh, more of a 10 yard. Yeah, this is a, sort of a much more dangerous play here. Personal foul. Gives quite a huge advantage there. Adam Simon running to the ground. Wow. And a great throw there by O'Brien. He just that had was a beautiful throw. Nice, easy break for him. Simon showing his speed. And athleticism runs to the corner and easily grabs him. So, so San Francisco, it's a very offensive game here. Both teams working it well on offense. Here you go. O'Brien with the disc. Nice break there. Simon runs. Easy pancake layout grab. Not a problem. San Francisco really going to have to... They're getting broken easily, and they're really not... Uh, I think they need to really front at this point. Most of the... They're getting beat under, and they're easily getting broken. I think they just need to be a little sharper right. on the mark, and uh, hopefully we'll see a different game. San yeah, Francisco trots out the same offensive lineup again uh, with Abram, Rasmussen, Boucher, Grant, Smith, Kim, and Jeffries. Kim picks up to Jeffrey. Grant working hard. Kevin Smith. And there's a big hawk up there. Oh, and Boucher uh, didn't realize that was actually for Rasmussen, although I think he made the right attempt and didn't grab that. Seattle with Reed Koss picks up the Frisbee. Wide to open Tyler Kinney's right wide open. Some confusion here on uh, San Francisco's defense. Grant. Beaner with the disc. And then 21, Kinley throws to the side. Nope, oh, that's Sean Sears. Oh, and oh, good, nice good, uh, good uh, end zone defense there by Dogfish. They uh, didn't really give him an easy option, and that was a little bit too far from the outstretched hands of uh, number 22, Sean Sears. San Francisco can start again. Kevin Smith's picking up the Frisbee. A really, really important point here. San Francisco really need to make a score. And Bayless going, well, immediately going deep. Back. Kevin Smith with the Frisbee. Bayless running, running hard, and a nice layout, nice but play. just beyond. Great effort. Great effort. San Francisco not, not as composed as, as they could be. Seattle. Responding with the big hook. It's Donald Clark with the Frisbee. Oh, look at that. Wide open. And he had a wide open uh, beaner right there. So Seattle are just just doing everything right right now. They're, they're being patient. They're finding their open throws. They have the open receivers. I think San Francisco's defense is a little confused. Um, and they really need to uh, really need to get with it here. I think Seattle they need to regroup. Yeah, there have been some, definitely some defensive lapses there by the Dogfish. You can Kinley see there. Play right here. That is a nice play. Smith is... And they're just not really sure... 
you can see the frustration in Dogfish players. Not sure, you can see they're not sure who's supposed to cover who. Seattle taking advantage of that. Oh, San Francisco down. They lost the, lost the break. They gained back. Down 8 5. Six, six minutes and 42 seconds left in the, left in the half. San Francisco have Anderson, Dahlman, Abram, Chen, Farron, Jeffrey, and uh, Brammer out there. Referee's having a, a little discussion here right, right now. So what is going on? Ref's doing a good job so far calling this game. Leave number four out there is James Hansel of San Francisco. Abram with the Frisbee. And a blady cross field throw there. He really had no other option. And unfortunately, Dalman couldn't bring it down. O'Brien from Seattle about to pick it up. That's a bit of a hasty, hasty throw there by the Dogfish. Not sure but where he was in the stall there. O'Brien is in Bremer playing really hard D on Karlinski. O'Brien with the Frisbee. Back to Karlinski. Those two are going to just work to, to each other all really day. Hustling. O'Brien to Simon. Simon to O'Brien. It's just the handlers here for Seattle. Working pretty content. Working between the three of them. Simon to O'Brien. O'Brien, there's a floaty frisbee up there. Ooh, a little bit of a little contact. Oh, wow! Great. What a huge play! Oh, they're going to call something here. I'm not sure about that. We're going to see a replay of that. O'Brien had a floaty throw up there, and it was bobbled a bit. It was a bit of contact, but just a minor mm -hmm. bit of contact. And then Hansel with a fantastic. Fantastic defense. Big floaty. Yes. And Abram with a fantastic D. Right, the great defense there by San Francisco. They are absolutely. I think there was a little bit of karma point right there, getting it just back. Yeah, there was a bit of a foul called. Um, great defense there by Hansel, but Seattle got the disc again. Big double team. Yeah. And this double team is really bothering the San Francisco it's handlers been very there. Very effective for Seattle. Seattle with another chance. And this time they don't make a mistake. Harkness with the score. And, yeah, I think that was uh, a, a lot of stuff happened very quickly there. San Francisco couldn't regroup. Abram came back with another D. But, once again, the double team really affected them. Going upwind, didn't have much of an opportunity. Had to, had to punt it. And Seattle reacted very quickly. And a few throws later and a score. And Mario O'Brien did not make a mistake this time. Yes, the dogfish have not been... As effective against that double team. Abram was stuck there. Here, although it looked like he had a, had a throw, but he worked it up. And Seattle, three throws. O'Brien into the corner to Harkness. Not a problem. Seattle have been an impressive team so far. They've been playing very fast. Good rhythm. But San Francisco, and, you know, San Francisco have not been playing their, their, their usual selves. And certainly they're missing some of their players. Uh... That are, that are out here do, doing a clinic actually in, in, in Russia right now. But San Francisco have more than enough uh, skill and ability to get back in this game. And Absolutely. I think that's what Coach Safdie is telling them right now. He's like, look, guys, just concentrate, you know, focus, do the easy things, do what you know. And the double teams there immediately look for that open player. That open player also has to get open. He can't just stand there and wait. Is to make himself as easily available. Just a quick dump. That's all right. that needs to happen. And then they need to work the disc up, and that's that's all they need to do. Seattle, on the other hand, just need to keep doing what they're doing. And only a four-point differential with five minutes to go in this second quarter, so certainly something that the Dodgers can work with to take a, a bite out of that lead right now. I think there was some disappointment in that call uh, initially for the Dogfish, but they did a great job of making a good D and getting the disc back. I think what the ref was calling was a little bump on that big uh, throw. And there's plenty of time. I don't think San Francisco have to worry about time left. There's obviously the second half. There's right. five minutes now. They just need to They just need to score. They need to find a rhythm. Right. Uh, not only on offense, but also their uh, 
on defense, one they make they get the, they're getting the turns, they're getting the breaks, but their their OT their their own defense is not really coming together yet. And the defense uh, creates the offense, so it's important to uh, get into a good flow on your defense and make the smart plays. San Francisco have Kenner, Jeffrey, Boucher, Smith, Rasmussen, Grant, and Kim. Rasmussen, Jeffrey. Jeffrey immediately, big throw to Boucher. A great wow. grab by Boucher. He's surrounded by three players. Reads it well. Fantastic grab by him. Finds Jeffrey. Jeffrey to Kenner. This is better from San Francisco. Nice, easy, quick stuff. Rasmussen. Smith. Kim's wide open on the side there. Smith's holding the disc a little bit too long there, and they're getting easily trapped. Back to Smith. Oh, wow. What a huge D by Seattle. I thought that was going to be an easy score. Yeah, Rasmussen had a nice put there to, uh, to Smith, who went up the line. But Donald Clark with a fantastic stretch D. Layout D. But that was good stuff from San Francisco. They worked it up nicely. Boucher did they have a fantastic grab. I thought that was a bit of a hasty throw, but a fantastic grab. Read the disc really well. He's been having a fantastic game. Um, San Francisco have to get this back. Reed Cost from Seattle with the Frisbee. Tyler Kinley. A great bid there by Jeffrey. Seattle just, just pinging the disc back and forth between their handlers, waiting for the top opportunity to strike. And a great that D that by Rasmussen. Just read that really well. Just got in the lane, anticipated and grabbed it. Boucher with a lot of time, and Ooh. Boucher just throws it straight into his defender. His defender did have to uh, did did make an athletic play, but it's a little l little hasty there by uh, Boucher for sure. And Seattle will get the disc back. Okay. Good timeout called. Well, it was great, great anticipatory, anticipatory D there by Rasmussen. Woo, Rasmussen, a lot of words, a lot of syllables. I'm saying. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, San Francisco give it right back there. First mistake, really, that Boucher's made. He's had a great game so far, but I think he just got a little excited. I think the stall was coming up. He definitely had to make a play. He had to make a throw, and he didn't see anything. I think his intention maybe was to, to get a little farther downfield, at least so that one of his players would have a chance to get at it. And uh, it's still a little low. I think Staffy that's what, is out there talking to his players. I think what he's saying is, like, you have to, you really have to just be patient, like, you know. Right. You know. Uh, recklessly, and you know, Seattle's doing Seattle's doing a good job on offense. But San Francisco's defense is great. They're like I said earlier, they're getting their breaks, but they're just not converting, and that's that's what they're going to need to do. A couple of changes here. I think Kaiwoka's in, Travis is in, Wynn is in, Dalman, Abrams, Bayless. So almost, I think, a complete shift. And we see the lights coming on in the stadium. We're at Kizar Stadium in San Francisco, and that might make a difference too when we lose uh, some of that uh, natural daylight the lights come on yeah I think the wind is the wind has died down a little bit yeah. this is uh hopefully we'll uh we'll see what happens the uh on the sidelines there we have the uh the youth the youth team that was having a clinic earlier are going to be doing a, a halftime entertainment they'll be playing a it's gonna be fun to watch game. the be players good. the great players of tomorrow one would hope game's on Seattle swings it to Holt Harkness with the disc, back to Holt. Seattle also made, a, I think, a complete shift. Brought in their offensive line. Travis, Harkness. Karlinski with the Frisbee. Nice double team there by San Francisco. Dalman. Kawoka. Kawoka's doing a great job on defense there. And you oh. call it. I think it was Karaoke's like tough D there. That now San Francisco. This is the defensive line that was in that to do just that purpose to create the D. Can they do they have anything on offense here? Can they get the break? Big huck there. Oh. Wow, great bid. Patrick Bayless was turned around a little bit and made a 
valiant attempt at getting the Frisbee there. Harkness with for Seattle with the Frisbee, number nine. Both teams getting a little tired right now. Simon with the disc. Guarded by Wynn. Both these players have played, played together before and against each other many times. O'Brien. The handlers are, for Seattle are really working the disc here. The rest of the, the, rest of the full players seem a little tired. They've been cutting back and forth. San Francisco is making a good... good and a big, big up, there. up there to Simon. Oh, oh, who makes a layout grab and just can't get on it. People, good. Simon yeah. is a, typically a handler. I don't really expect him to go deep. Looks like he got his, almost had it there. I think he was a little confused getting his legs in, le legs in order and just came in a little bit quicker than he expected. It was a good bit attempt there. Kawoko with the disc. It's a minute left in the game. And a timeout called out. Imagine it's probably by San Francisco here. They really need a really need a score here to, to get into half. Their offensive uh, group is coming in. I think it was uh, giving those players a break. There was a long point there. Yeah, they're everyone working really hard. San, San Francisco bringing their offensive line. We believe actually started this point originally. <laughs> and, uh, long time ago. Seattle's defensive team is coming in. Pan of the crowd. The crowd are certainly looking cold, but they're certainly enjoying themselves as well. Some brave souls wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Well, I love his spirit, but it it is cold. Yeah. He does have a layer under that Hawaiian. That is shirt, true. So he probably he has five there. layers underneath. And Dougie there, <laughs> nice and prancing warm. along the sidelines, just trying to get the crowd excited. The crowd are just just too too cold to really move. Kids love Dougie. They do. To be honest, as a kid, I would be a little frightened of Dougie's. Mm -hmm. a lot of teeth. teeth there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, the dogfish are little sharks, and the game is back on. Rasmussen is, has the frisbee on his own end zone. Seattle immediately puts on the double team. Grant, a workhorse, just never stops running. Canner with the disc to Kevin Smith. To Rasmussen. Oh, and Rasmussen oh. stumbled right there and had to make a bid and unfortunately didn't get it. Slipped there as he was cutting. It was wide open, too. Grant on Reed Koss. Unfortunately, Grant. Big body. Got a little fouls. close there. Yeah, a little bit too close. Less than 30 seconds left here. Seattle are going to take their time and score, try and score here. Oh, but they don't. And they are uh, quick throw there to Simon. They have 20 seconds on the, on the clock for San Francisco to potentially get, you know, an immediate score. They don't have to huck it immediately, maybe uh, work it up a little bit so they can take their shot. But uh, San, Seattle up five breaks. Really didn't expect this from them, but they're being flawless on O. They're yeah. playing really well, really solid. And really forcing San Francisco to make a lot of mistakes. Unfortunately, the Erasmus is slept right there. But see this last play is just a perfectly put disc here. Nice patience, working it back, waiting for the open player. Really well-oiled machine, these uh, Rainmakers. Just Very tight, good chemistry. Certainly not phased from being away from home. A bit of a hostile crowd here. But San Francisco still got a new half, but hopefully they can... End this end this period with a with a score. I think that would really help help their offense, lift Absolutely. the spirits up. Smith to Kim to Smith. I guess it's Hebe one letting letting go here. A little scuba there by uh, Rasmus to Drew Kim. It's a bladey throw there. Oh, straight to Kenner, but unfortunately, right over both Kenner and Grant had an opportunity. And that's the that's half. The half time. Good look by Kim there. And it's worth noting that the Frisbee, the, if you get the Frisbee off before the time, uh, that, 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 that disc is live. Count. Absolutely. 
Well, not the best of halves there for uh, San Francisco, but um, you know they'll they'll have a lot to do. I think staff will have a lot to say uh, at halftime, and we know they can play better, and we're looking forward to that in the next next half. Absolutely, and uh, we'll be back after this break. Back with the halftime festivities here on the play. We've got some youth players yeah, out there. They're playing uh, that was a fantastic grab wow. there by the youngin in the, in the dark shirt. There's actually sign them up for the dogfish. These are the players of tomorrow. You know, I wish, uh, Sean, when I was younger that I had these kind of uh, organized uh, opportunities to really learn the game. It's, you know, you get in really good habits when you're younger that you take uh, for, the, for the rest of your playing days. Definitely, especially being around some of these players that have been coached earlier mm -hmm. by some of the dogfish players, and that would really help. I mean, when we were young, the wheel was being invented, so, you know, that was, right. uh, <laughs> you know, it w wasn't as easy for us to really uh, to learn a lot. But, yeah, no, there's, it's, it's, you know, some good stuff going out there. Right now the dogfish are, uh, they're, they're out there just, you know, quick. there was a quick talk from uh, Coach Safty. He was not happy. Um, I don't think any of the players here are, are, are very happy, and they're immediately out there just working on their throws. Just, you know, there was a lot of drops, a lot of throwaways, and uh, they've, they've got a lot they can improve on, but there's a lot of stuff too. You know, they were yeah. in great defense. Uh, some of the, the points they were scoring, Evan Boucher had a, three nice uh, throws into the end zone. Mm -hmm. Very well put to wide open players. There were not, no, no, no crazy throws. Right. Um, but credit to Seattle's defense and, and a huge credit to their offense. Uh, a lot of squirrely handler stuff. They're being patient. Uh, they're, they're, they're finding the open thrower uh, or the open receiver when uh, San Francisco have shut down their first two options. And I think their defense, their double team especially, has been a little more effective than San Francisco's where they have been forcing some difficult throws, some, um, some tough upline throws and... And San Francisco has thrown it away a few times, but uh, credit that to the defense of Seattle. Definitely. And when, when San Francisco have had the opportunity to double team, Seattle, what, what Seattle have done a good job of is they, as soon as they've gotten that double team off, they immediately attack, whereas San Francisco sort of held on to the Frisbee. Right. Because I think Seattle have done a good job of, you know, they, they, they are leaving obviously a player open, but it's a really hard uh, throw to get to that player. So immediately, as, as soon as the double team gets broken, the next, you know, primary and secondary options for San Francisco were immediately closed down by the Seattle defenders. Right. Whereas in the other way around, Seattle has an immediate opportunity once they get out of the double team to uh, to move the disc. And at that point, it's been really confusing. The San Francisco defense, both on their offensive, on offense and defense, whenever San Francisco had, had to play defense, they've uh, not been able to get right back on the mark. Right. And I, I did notice that towards the, especially in that second quarter where the first quarter, San Francisco was putting the double team on more frequently. And then I think they went away from that, possibly for that reason where they weren't responding when they got beat on that initial throw uh, through the double team. There was a uh, wide open players and that's where Seattle was really um, uh, moving it effectively. Yeah, for, for sure. Well, you know, the lights are coming on right now. Um, it's an evening game here. Uh, our first game was a very bright, uh, bright sunny day in San Francisco. It's sort of perfect day to 
Uh, wear your Waveborn sunglasses. Waveborn is a sunglass company that combines affordable fashion with a mission to have a major social impact. For each pair of sunglasses sold, Waveborn helps a person in need in one of two ways. They provide a new pair of prescription eyeglasses through their nonprofit partner, Unite for Sight, or B, they fund a portion of a vision restoring cataract surgery for a person in need through their new nonprofit partner, Surgical Eye Expeditions International. To join the Waveborn movement, go to www.waveborn.com forward slash campaign forward slash MLU to order your pair today and give the gift of sight. That's a great opportunity. You can get a, get a nice pair of shades and uh, help someone out as well. Definitely, yeah. Meanwhile, there's uh, another you know, nine and a half minutes to go to half. And uh, some stats here that we can read to you. Well, Seattle done a really good jo- job of spreading the offense out. You know, they've you know just about you know it's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine different throwers uh, have, have have thrown have uh, have caught the goals. That's amazing. And and it's been spread out by uh, six different uh, six, six, six different uh, handlers uh, with uh, O'Brien leading that line with three of them. Really impressive by Seattle spreading out. Uh, spreading out the team, and you can see almost. Um, I mean, San Francisco only really have uh, five scores, but they've you know they've they've come from three players, uh, and, and three of them being uh, Boucher. So uh, you know, could be I a lesson learned there, where San certainly. Francisco needs to, to, to spread it around a little bit more. I know they're they're probably uh, suffering from uh, missing some of their uh, some of their other players. Definitely, I think Seattle so far has done a. Um, a good job of really balancing and you know really looking to their right. bench, but you know some some of San Francisco's main players, Kittredge for sure, one of the mm-hmm. the, the best receivers in the game, um, uh, and Joy also very effective. Joy is fantastic, and then and Carkin on D. You know these are these are tall players. Players mm-hmm. are also a lot of experience right. who uh, very calm with the frisbee, really know do a great job of um, taking you know, holding you know, holding on to it and, and and not making any rash decisions and. And I think San Francisco are really, really missing those guys. Um. Absolutely, not just their their level of play, but their ability to um, to hold the team together. You know, to keep them in check, and and uh, that's difficult when you uh, when you lose a big uh, field presence like that, like a Bo Kittredge. And, and oh. okay. well, I just to let you know, there's about seven and a half minutes before the oh, a little under eight minutes before the next. Uh, uh, before the the game resumes, and we're going to take it off air for uh, till then, and uh, we'll back be back with you shortly. So go out and you know bathroom break, get a drink, and we'll see you in a bit.
And we're back. So, you know, back to those keys of the game room in the beginning. We talked about Seattle's mental toughness, and they certainly have proved that they're tough They've enough. They've been showing that tonight. They're tough enough to play uh, away from home. Uh, they're just playing their game nice and simple, nice and easy. As you can see there, they're looking a little cold. One would think they'd be used to this weather, but maybe not. Um, not as wet, maybe, as they're used to. Maybe. Well, San Francisco are going to be starting on offense, which is... It's a good sign. Hopefully they can... Uh, Make use of that. Yeah, best news for so, for so far. We see Everybody. this fog. A lot of it has been blowing away. It's almost clear skies right now. Yeah. But the wind seems to have picked up. I was just out there, you know, chatting with a couple of players. I think they're they're a little frustrated. They're ready to mm – -hmm. they're going to come out really aggressive right now. And uh, the pull immediately goes out of bounds, which is actually kind of hard to do on such a wide field. But maybe that was a uh, – the strategy. But perhaps right there. let their defense set up. Rasmus is to pick up the Frisbee. Yes. Smith there for the dump. San Francisco resort to vertical stack, and Boucher immediately gets the disc, and puts one up there to Jeffrey. Oh! Oh! Uh, wow! What an amazing play! <laughs> And unfortunately, just out of bounds, Jeffrey tipped the disc but came back down with it in the, on, on the second attempt. A fantastic bit of skill there, but unfortunately landed out of bounds. Great effort by Jeffrey. He really had no chance, it would seem like, to make that catch, but he was able to tip it and, and make it for an exciting almost score. And it's, it's certainly a nice uh, nice play. And immediately, San Francisco get an opportunity to get it back with Seattle. Just uh, huck, it, huck it away immediately. San Francisco, you can see their tent. They're not afraid. They're going to really attack Seattle right now. Kevin Smith, a nice break there to Rasmussen. To Grant, who hasn't stopped running. I think he was doing sprints during halftime. Kevin Smith puts it deep one out there. Another one to Jeffrey. And a great D there by Seattle. Sean Sears. Well, San Francisco has certainly shown what they want to they want to do. They're going to attack. They're going to attack deep. They're going to go for it. Maybe not the uh, – some good defense there by Seattle. What do you think of this strategy? To be honest, I'm a little disappointed that they're they're hocking it so far down the field. They're about like a you know three quarters of the way down the field. I, I'd like to see them work it up a little closer. You know. Yeah, I think that was. I think maybe this is just a an opportunity to you know either pin them Seattle back down here or you know just not get stuck with a double team on them. They, you know that's good point. Be, yeah. Well, but I think from the first point they just wanted to shush Seattle. Like you know we're not a, you know you're gonna have to respect our deep game. Seattle are now working at nice and, nice and easy. Matt Soule with the disc. Koss. He has a big huck there. And Boucher oh, with huge. a nice freeze. Boucher, he's on both sides of the disc tonight. There with a lot of uh, help D there. Good defensive intensity by the Dogfish coming out of this half. I like to see that. Fortunately, one of them see have offensive intensity in this case. But, you know, wait, 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 wait to stick with it. <laughs> Kevin Smith hold, holsters it in there to Drew Kim. Drew Kim to Grant. Grant to Rasmussen. Rasmussen with a big throw. It's got Jeffries again. Wow. They've been working him hard. Oh, oh nice.
nice bid by Jeffries. That frisbee was always so slightly close. tailing tailing out of the way, but Jeffries there really tries. He's a tall, he's a tall fella, just beyond inches away from his hand, as you can see. Last minute bid and just. Almost got that was uh, that was the right idea. I think that was that was an example. They worked the disc. They had a right. nice opportunity to throw to him. Jeffries must be exhausted, and he's just made three big cuts into the end zone. But San Francisco have to play some D now. Matt Solf has the disc for Seattle. Kinley, nice D by Dogfish, forcing the Seattle back. Sean Sears with a nice grab. Kinley in the second attempt catches the frisbee. Koss. San Francisco playing great defense here, not giving Seattle anything. Oh, and a fantastic point block there by Kevin Smith. Who is. Oh. Oh! oh what a huge catch! Amazing! Beautiful. Finally, it's paid off. Wow, what a great catch by Tyler there. Beautiful. Uh, Tyler Grant certainly ate his sandwiches today after he has a uh, nice throw there by uh, Kevin Smith. Had the great uh, hand block. Picked up the Frisbee. Threw it out into open space. Tyler Grant really had to work hard for it. But Let's look at this again. Great break mark throw. Grant on his horse. Lays out fully stretched. Fantastic grab. Beautiful. He is tired. He is a workhorse. He's fueled by sandwiches, this guy. He's... All day long sandwiches. All day long. Well, that's exactly what San Francisco needed. They did not need to go down a break. Sam Kenner with the disc. That catch and that play should really fuel San Francisco up right now. Hopefully that... Their offense... Let's see if they can keep that uh, defense line intensity great up. defense. So hopefully defense can bring it up. San Francisco letting Seattle reset, just sort of keeping them in a sort of very loose zone, looking for opportunities to put on that double team right now. Hammer there by O'Brien to Simon. Oh, and oh a nice bit attempt. Great bit attempt by Kawaoka. I think he might have made a little contact with the disc, but that's looks like a great play. That's the energy we like to see on defense. Yeah. Simon with the Frisbee. And it was a big flick up the line. A couple of Frisbee players. Oh, and... Wow, I don't even know what happened there. That was just a uh, well-read play there by Seattle. Dalma made a great bid and got in the Frisbee. It just went through everybody's hands. And uh, Number six there, I believe, for uh, Seattle, Tridiac, just, you know, was focused... And you know they ran back. He wasn't the uh, initial uh, receiver, but yeah. just in the right place. He didn't give up on the disc. Very quick hands there. Snatched that disc right out of the air. Well, you know, Dogfish shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't be disheartened. That was great defense. They, you know, they, That was their defense to make. It was a great play by Seattle. They forced him to make a difficult throw, and they defended it well. Good start for both teams here. We're at the... Six minutes to go in this third quarter. Tyler Kinley pulling the disc there for Seattle Rainmakers. San Francisco have trotted out their usual offensive line. Smith to Rasmussen. Devin Anderson with a great grab. Right back to Rasmussen. Boucher to Grant. He's looking nice and nice and chilly there by Grant. Double T's on. He's looking for his player. Finds Rasmussen. Rasmussen to Anderson. Threading the needle there. Anderson to Kim. This is great stuff here by San Francisco. Nice, easy, quick throws. Looking for the open player. Grant to Kim. Kim with a nice, easy throw there. And wow. Oh, and a fa fantastic, uh, fantastic catch there by Anderson. And uh, uh, Seattle, um, you know, Late bid, a bit of a, bit, a bit, a bit of a, a dangerous bid there by uh, number thirteen Reed Koss. Um, sorry, eleven. But uh, I think they all talked it out. These guys have played against each other. They recognize it. Yeah, good he, sportsmanship. He was going hard for the disc, and it was. It was a little late. He immediately apologized. Not intentional. Yeah, it was a 
it was not the best play. He should have should have held back, but sometimes that happens. Yeah, he was certainly late. And those yeah, those sort of dangerous bits can certainly cause injury. But you can see he was apologetic immediately. And uh, but he did get a, a, a deserved stern look there from Anderson. <laughs> And a great play by the dogfish there, as you're saying, just like nice and easy working it up, nice cuts, working around the field, and just waiting for that good opportunity to get in the end zone for a score. And the dogfish immediately pull it off. And 11-7 Seattle, but I, I sense a renewed sense of excitement from the dogfish. I'm, I'm feeling that as well. The fans are certainly appreciating it. There's a lot of t tough play here. Everyone, you know, they know they can play better. Safty, Coach Safty and, and assistant coaches uh, Jackson and, uh, and Ruby certainly probably got under their skin and really got them... Their energy is fired. really, really fired up here. Seattle still playing their game. Nice, patient O. The Handlers content working it with Karlinski, Simon, and O'Brien. Oh, and a little bit of a bubble there. And Travis with a fantastic D. He was aware. He saw it. He brought it down. And I believe we're going to see a foul there. Oh, oh but San Francisco get the call. And Kaoka gets a five-yard, uh, gets to walk it up five yards, ten yards. It's, I'm not sure what that was. Maybe that was a technical there. Kaoka, a veteran handler. He's got all the throws. Everything in his arsenal is fantastic. Kaoka to win. Win. Threads the needle to Travis. Wide open. And beautiful, beautiful placement by Travis there. Travis, Travis bookends that, uh, that point there with a great, well aware D. Slaps it down. Win. Not afraid to throw it hard. Straight right into Travis's bread basket there and fantastic this is almost a different team coming out in the second half for the dogfish I mean they are really fired up we'll see it here it was an over the back call there that was the that was the five yard penalty and a quick score wide open wide this is open. what Seattle was doing to San Francisco in the first half San Francisco are paying the back saying look we can do the same thing we can take a page out of your book yeah yeah how about them apples just great energy. Love the energy I'm saying. And this here. is firing up for everyone. You can see it here. You can see it in the players. Pollard didn't have didn't play too much in the first half. I think he's gonna come out here. He's he's ready to pull the disc. I see Bremer there ready to, to run hard. I pity the offensive player he has he has to guard. Because he won't get he won't get a chance. We'll see if Seattle can respond to this renewed uh, intensity. Low pull uh, there by Pollard. So have an uh, San Francisco got an opportunity to set up. They've sort of got a loose zone. As soon as they can, they're going to put that double team on. Almost quite like a, like a zone. Saddle working it backwards now. Karlinski shouting out directions. And they're just going back. San Francisco Dogfish are forcing back. Oh, and they force wow. the turn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a little bit of confusion there. How that, that certainly looked like that. That wow, looked like that was on wow. the ground there. Maybe to, to, to review that, we'll probably Let's see. Let's see the disc. Yeah, that oh, definitely hit the clearly ground. Clearly down. And it bounced well, back up. But I'm really surprised that he continued to play that. Yeah, that was certainly down, and San Francisco had the disc back. Bit of a late call, but the right one by the refs there. Definitely. Will Chen with the Frisbee. Nice back and forth. Chen mastering the offensive here. With Sam Anderson there. Will Chen, and that's oh, another score. <laughs> wow. Really impressive there by the Dogfish. They got a good uh, good D and just nice and easy. You see the, the way they swing it around. Will Chen through Very the Sam composed. Adamson. Been recently been activated. Nice, simple throw. Will Chen has all the time in the world. Sanders was a little nervous there. I think the, the wind <laughs> caught the Frisbee. He was... He was like, I had the easiest throw, and I almost threw it out of bounds, but he Will Chen's quick. Back Will Chen can jump. Will can jump to do many things. And it's down to a, just a two-point lead by Seattle now, 11-9. Yeah. As you can see, San Francisco are fired up. But Seattle have some veteran players out there. They've been in these positions before. But this is, I think, what we're talking about. This is their mental toughness. Right. You know, they, they, they're, they've been up. They've been up the whole time. They've been up all through uh, the season. But they've just given up two quick points. Some Unforced errors. Let's see what happens. Simon. Oh, what a wow, great bid there. Great bid. There's Abram right there with fantastic bids. There's a, a quick inform that actually all penalties now are 10 yards. Uh, there's a oh. rule change from the halfway through the week. Interesting. So that's certainly a stiff penalty there for, for a foul. When... Uh, 
when when really giving Seattle no opportunities here and a quick time out. Oh, a little push oh. there. It's, it's a little bit of argy bargy <laughs> here with the between the players. Uh, these teams are fired up. Harkness closely guarded there by Wynn. To Kinley, Kinley floats it. Ooh. Oh, and a little bit of a mental error there. Bayless with the frisbee. Great wow. grab there by Great uh, grab. by Kenner. Kenner to Lucas Dalvin. Oh! oh! He might have even had bid a little bit too early there, but a, a nice bid there by Dalvin. A good uh, Superman flying effort there. Yeah. But I, th I, li I like what the Dogfish are doing. I like how they're immediately attacking. This is what Seattle did to them in the first half. As soon as there was a turn, they didn't wait. They just immediately attacked. That's right. You don't let the defense uh, get an opportunity to set up there. Oh, just uh, keep them on their, on their heels. This is great stuff here by uh, San Francisco. O'Brien for Seattle with the disc. Throws a, a bullet to the center of the pitch. Simon with the Frisbee. Seattle looking a little, little tired here. And San Francisco is getting every opportunity they can to put on that double team. It's almost like a zone. The traditional zone is like it's a bit of a cup, and when they get a chance to make that disc, they do. Oh, and a fantastic acrobatic defense there by Bayless. Amazing. Showed absolutely no fear. I mean, that was that was a. And that made me punch. wince a little bit when those four players were going at that disc. <sighs> but not Bayless. He was not afraid. He went right in there. Fearless. And uh, everything going San Francisco's way right now. The foul some, now. Uh, walk it up a little bit. Bayless with the disc. He has options. An option there is a uh, can. Oh wow! Beautiful play. Wow, San Francisco, amazing. Sam Kenner at time, and he found Abram there, and that was this is this is what we've been wanting from San Francisco from the beginning, and they are fired up. The crowd is excited. They're dancing. They're jumping up and down. It's three breaks. Wow, that little scuba there for a score. Yeah, Kenner. There's almost like a triple team there, but he saw the wide open player, Abram, and threw it. Nice, quick flick of the wrist. And San Francisco down by one. And it was that defense that, that uh, created that offense right there. We saw that that intensity going for the disc. And I, I noticed that Seattle, they don't have those big hops that they had earlier. They're not getting that. The, the double team and the defensive. Right, if they can't, first of all, yeah, they don't have the opportunity to throw it. And right. you know, San Francisco's a good team. Another short pull there by San Francisco. Last time, their uh, defense really shut them down and made uh, Seattle go backwards. Hopefully they can do that again. Will Chan is sitting there waiting for Simon to pick up the Frisbee. And immediately the double team with Farron and, and Chan. A lot of scoobers in this game. Birch with the disc. O'Brien. Looking for the team. hammer, but no. Karlinski. Crossfield hammer there to O'Brien. O'Brien to Simon. Seattle once again being patient, looking for that opportunity, looking for the score. San Francisco forcing, forcing tough throws by Seattle. They're not making it easy, but Seattle are a little bit of penalty there. They worked it up 10 yards. Karlinski, and that's uh, the easy score there by Karlinski, but Seattle right their ship there a little bit. Uh, Tridiac with the score. Dogfish with, uh, I believe, four unanswered points there before that one. And that was exactly what the uh, the Safety ordered, Coach Safety ordered from halftime. And now back to back to their offense. The offense needs to really uh, just you know walk it in there. That's a, that, that's that's how you answer. Seattle answered those four unanswered answer points. Uh, they slowed it down. They got back into the early rhythm that they had. Looks like the wind has picked up again, as you can see by the last two pulls there by San Francisco going that direction, barely over halfway. So this will be in uh, the doctor's favor right now, going uh, against the wind, going uh, with the wind, rather. 43.7 uh, seconds left in the half. So I think San Francisco are going to want to just work the disc up, take their time. Call a timeout if necessary. That's true. Clock will start when they take possession. And Smith with the Frisbee. Swings it, break one swing to Drew Kim. Kim to Grant. Grant is just always open in the middle of the pitch there. Nice easy throw there to Anderson. Plenty of time. Anderson looking for Rasmussen. He finds Rasmussen right on the edge of the uh, sideline. 
25 seconds left, plenty of time. Smith swings it out to Drew Kim. Kim to Boucher. Ooh. Oh, and a little, little, little bumpy foul penalty. there on Sewell. And then 10 seconds there for Boucher. San Francisco could do with that. 15 seconds left, just under 16. Boucher to Grant. Grant to Kim. And another foul and Another call. penalty, and they're going to walk it up some more. Seattle getting a little chippy right now. Five yards out of the end zone. Grant with the Frisbee. Looking for Boucher. Looking for Oh, Sewell. what a great cut. Woo! Made it interesting at the end. Beautiful cut by Boucher. No, that was uh, that was Anderson there. Oh, sorry, Anderson. The speedster just blew just by his defender, wide open. And he was a little surprised, I think, he was that open. Let's see that again, Anderson. Comes out of nowhere. Right through two Seattle players. Easy throw for Grant. I think Anderson was like, white, I'm so wide open. I should look <laughs> around and see what's going on. Maybe right. it's a call. Didn't quite contradict the disc, but then... Quarter right before the end zone. Fantastic stuff there by Seattle. Oh, sorry, by San Francisco. Seattle have just uh, under seven seconds to answer back. I'm thinking that San Francisco will put on their toll line. Watch for the huck. You have Wynn, Bremer, Travis, Grant, Anderson, Jeffrey. There's some athletes out there, some people who can really jump. Crowd's been excited by this half. Great pull. As have we. That's a great pull there by San Francisco. They're going to make it tough. Immediately the double team goes on. Chance of defense. Karlinski, the Frisbee, puts it up there. A lot of bodies. Could sail out of bound. And an attempt, and that's it. Big huck. See, as you can see, the wind, that just went sailing. That really blew it. There was an opportunity there for... Seattle to possibly make a play at that. Just a number one. A Donald long. Clark did have an opportunity, but I don't think he would have landed in bounds if he had caught it. I think he would have had to uh, try to greatest that, which they did have in their uh, their first game. They had Seattle had a greatest. There you go. It's, it's up there. It was on the line. He did have a chance. I think. I think he was looking at that actually. I think he was aware of where he was, and if he was able to catch it, he might have tried to throw it back. And San Francisco, I think they I think they got a little lucky there. There's uh, they had an opportunity to get that. This is a favorite game uh, on the sideline there by the crowd. There's, there's, a, there's a guy with a big bucket, and everyone tries and throws the plastic Frisbees into it. And, and, and it's not easy, because those aren't real Frisbees. Those are the really cheap plastic ones, not the not the Innova discs that we have here uh, on uh, at MLU. The, uh, the Pulsar Innova disc? Yes. yes. These, these discs are just, just being littered everywhere. Coach Wiggins is uh, trying to rally his Seattle team. They're still up by a point, but I'm sure he must be a little concerned by how San Francisco came back and really won that period. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's check out the plays of the week. There's some exciting plays this past week. This is the defensive play of the week yeah. by uh, Nighthawks Aaron Loach. Yeah, a little floaty play there. Wow. Uh, oh, he stuck with it. You know, he made the initial great hit and then Kane stayed with it and there's the offensive play of the week in week two Jeff Graham and Brandon Malasek from the, the White Caps Boston team big hammer and a oh, fantastic good grab there. you can see he got a little excited right after the throw fantastic <laughs> grab there here's the friction gloves catch of the week from week two Joseph Sefton the Rainmakers, Rainmakers. Joseph Sefton is not here today Oh, I saw this. Wow. Fantastic grab there by, <laughs> the, Holy cow. by the ginger, Sefton. Let's see it again. A lot of concentration. Had to work. Stretch Whoa. and grabbed. That's impressive. Whoa. Well, San Francisco are going to start off on offense. This is exactly what they need. They have an opportunity to tie the game here. Rasmus, Jeffrey, Grant, Smith, Anderson. Boucher and Kim, they're ready. That is a fantastic offensive line. There's a lot of, a lot of great skill, a lot of height, a lot of workhorses. They will be going into the wind, so it's important to uh, some shorter passes, perhaps keep the flow going. Yeah. Really setting up nicely for a fantastic finish here. And there's Seattle. These are some very experienced players, but like you know, like we said, do they have the mental toughness? I mean, this is a close game now, Seattle have lost the momentum a little bit. San Francisco really picked it up. They g on by their crowd. Dougie doing his thing. Whatever that is. And 
Seattle, uh, first away game. They don't have the crowd on their side as they usually do at this point in the game. Right. And just exactly, I think, what we expect, Sean, from this game. Very close game, a lot of intensity, high level of play. Oh. From the two top teams in the Western Division. Yeah. Reed Koss with a big pull. San Francisco knock it down. They will be going upwind. A little tougher, but if they can score, it's a huge advantage with Rasmussen with the disc. Finds Jeffrey. Back to Rasmussen. To Smith. To Drew Kim. Great stuff here. And Kim with a big throw. He's got Boucher. Boucher reads it well. And oh, beautiful catch by Boucher. Wow. And he helps the other player up to boot. Fantastic Good concentration there by Boucher. Drew Kim, not afraid. Threw it long. Boucher had his defender on his tail, but he read it well. He boxed him out, and he went up. He went strong, and he grabbed it. Fantastic stuff. Here you go. Not Drew a tall Kim. guy, but he plays like a tall guy. Look at this read with the player coming behind him. Perfectly. Snatches it out of the air. And good game and gamesmanship there. Say, you know, I just skied you. Let me help you up. It's a, it's a nice gesture, but it's a bit of a sting as well. Boucher is 5'9". Plays like about 6'5". Yes. Certainly better being than being 6'5". Good point. Yeah. Played against players like that. <laughs> and it's all tied up. San Francisco. Tied up. Wow. Down Nine by five. Ten minutes ago. All tied at 12s. And, and look are. at the D. It's coming back strong. And they're coming oh, down. Oh! They could feel that. Seattle could feel the pressure coming on. And Simon with an inopportune drop right there. 15 yards out of the end zone. Abram calling his play. He has Kawoka. Oh, that skipped the ground. The wind is affecting this game at this point. Seattle does have a, a, another chance. O'Brien with the disc. He has Simon right behind him. They are not guarding him. They're, they're, they're just covering people. And a big, big put there by uh, O'Brien. To Mark Burton. Seattle with a hammer. Oh. And that was a, I was a bit of a, a great hammer there, but a bit of a lucky play, I would say. Uh, Harkness was well aware, and San Francisco just had their uh, their backs turned at the, at the wrong moment there. It was the first time uh, in this half that I've seen Seattle be able to make the big um, upfield throw mm -hmm. effectively. And that was that was a re that was a really nice hammer there. And uh, yeah, San Francisco. Uh, just perfectly placed there for Harkness. As you could see, he had a bit of a cheeky grin, recognized that. Uh, I think that was uh, Treaty Act with the throw. And right in between uh, right in between the San Francisco Dogfish defenders. And right between the legs at the end. A little jumpy finish there. I'm not sure exactly who threw that, but it was a very nice one. Well, San Francisco, opportunity to, uh, to counter now. They had their chance, though, there. They got a great D. They're... Th you sense that they're, they're, they're getting to Seattle a little bit, but that was you know, good poise by Seattle for him to, to score that point. Tyler Kinley with the with the pull. Nice, nice pull there, floating. Smith with the disc. To Jeffrey. Jeffrey has Grant going deep, but he holsters it in. Rasmussen. It seems to be a little slippery out there. There's a couple of people tripping or well, slipping on the... On the, on the Turf. Drew Kim. Oh, a little hasty throw there by Drew Kim. Oh, and Rasmussen had a second chance. But a little bit too quick there by Kim. Cost with the disc. Kinley. Double team coming out. Swings it. Oh, oh Jeffries. Is that Jeffries? Number 23, Jeffrey, wearing wow. George's number and gets up just as high. Boucher. Has time. And has a flick throw. Jeffrey. Running down the disc. Oh, nice and open. Beautiful play by Jeffrey. You know, that's a great to see when, when you're awesome defense and you get rewarded by offense in the end zone. And a, and, and a very, Kinley, that was technically a break mark flick, but there was no mark on. He just had to put it to space. Once again, play out of Seattle's book. Chest bumping there. And Jeffrey really... Yeah. Read it and wow, just holy cow, not in my house. And then the composure to run down the field and uh, 
Uh, Boucher, open, easy flick. The wind was taking it, but Jeffrey comes down, brings it, all the concentration, two feet in, and it's all tied at 13. San Francisco coming down hard. Abram, Spitzer, gets it, stops the throw. Simon with the disc. Double team immediately with Kaoko and Travis. Seattle back and forth, Karlinski. Back to O'Brien, center of that hub. Really doesn't have much, has Simon. Kawoko, Simon to Karlinski. The Handler is just playing a, playing a bit of a dominator here to Holt. Holt to Harkness. Burton. Throws it back to Harkness. To Holt. Seattle moving the disc very well. O'Brien. Travis stops the swing. Goes off again. Karlinski. To Simon. Seattle just, just content to weave it back and forth. A lot of a lot of quick throws here, waiting for something in the end zone. Oh, and wow, a great bid there. Great bid. To Karlinski. Great bit there by Harkness, who's been really, really effective in this point. Karlinski to O'Brien with a quick hammer. Wow. And that was that was a very well-disciplined point there by, uh, by Seattle. Holt with the final score. A lot of patience, just working it back and forth, taking what they're getting. Really uh, tiring. San Francisco's defense was, was great. They weren't giving them anything up, up, up the field. Seattle were content just to weave it back and forth nice and quick. And, uh, and uh, Sam Harkness there, number nine. See there with the throw. And a great grab there by Harkness. Koninsky, Harkness. Koninsky to O'Brien with the hammer to Holt. Nothing you can really do about that. That was just very quick. I don't even think there was a stall over two or three called on that one. But San Francisco is, can catch, you know, nice chance. Arts are back. Six and a half minutes left. Plenty of time. Big pull by Seattle. Seattle coming back now. With Smith with the disc. Smith, nice break there to uh, Anderson. Anderson to Kim. Kim. Nice cut. Kim to Anderson. Back to Kim. Ooh. And once again, Kim throw. just a little bit too excited. And uh, Seattle has, has the opportunity. Koss with the disc. Seattle calls a timeout. Seattle calls a timeout there. I think they recognize this is important to go up another break or a break. I think uh, Sa Coach Safty will bring in his uh, defensive line right now. I think Seattle really uh, matched the Dogfish's intensity on defense there. They made a strong comeback and up their intensity. You can see the wind on their jerseys. Still blowing pretty hard. Yep. Seattle... Their offensive uh, defensive line coming out, their offensive line coming in, they're huddled up. I recognize the importance of this. The wind really bellowing out there. And uh, when the game's close like this, the end of the game, it really big. The coaching becomes so much more important. When you make those substitutions, when you know that your players are in a rhythm and leave them in there, when do you take them out when they're tired? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, some, some players on uh, San Francisco there. They're, they're, they're fresh. They can ready to go. Some, some of the same offensive and defensive lines have been used. Right. The players have got to be tired. Maybe a little injection of some other players just to really get really get them going. The crowd, they're excited. Dougie uh, once again shooting shirts into the crowd. Everyone loves that. Just over six minutes to go in this final quarter. Brian is going to start things off immediately. San Francisco have probably going to put the double team on, force that disc back. Seattle line up in a stack off to one side, leaving that whole side of the field wide open. O'Brien has the opportunity to put it. Oh, an immediate turn. Unforced error there. It was a good cut. Kawoka. See what San Francisco Abram. Do. Quickly working up the field. Dalman. Abram. Win. Double team on. Kenner. 
San Francisco just being patient. Nice and easy stuff there. Win. To Bayless. Bayless says Dalman. San Francisco t taking their time. They have, they have chances. Bayless. Seattle have to take every opportunity they can to put the double team on. And San Francisco doing a good job of it. They're just getting to the disc to the open side quicker. And a smart play there by Bayless, calling a timeout, recognizing how important this next point is to right. tie it up, going into the win. Also getting opportunity to put the offensive line out there. I mean, obviously the defensive guys can play offense, but these guys, they know how to play their, their offense. This is an end zone drill for them. They, they've got it. Absolutely. All that strategy coming into play. But Seattle really putting that double team, and what you've noticed is that when they put the double team, they're perfectly, they're leaving everything open on the break side. And right. that's where San Francisco should be attacking. However, they're doing a good job of shutting that down. What San Francisco is doing a fantastic job of is really cutting hard to that open side and getting the disc. And then the double team is temporarily broken, and then they move it back out again. And San Francisco is doing a great job this half of getting out of the double team and not letting it affect them. What do, you, what do you see here as a play? Are we, are we looking at like a crazy cross-field hammer? Called play. I, I see something in the, into the, the right corner. Well, that's a bold move there. <laughs> well, Rasmussen has the disc. He is a, a wizard with the Frisbee. He knows what to do. He's got all the, all, all the throws in the book. Will Chen also is his, is his dump right now. He can do the same thing. A lot of skill out here. You've got Grant there just sitting in the corner. No double team. Cassidy immediately has the frisbee. Looks to Will Chen wow, and fantastic beautiful. stuff. But Great read by Chen. Nice cut right into the end zone. Will Chen, very intelligent player. Oh no, that's just went right into the open space. Rasmussen showed his arsenal of tricks. Perfectly executed. A lovely throw right, right into him. That was very important for the dogfish there. Tied oh. the score up. They could have been down to look at this. Submit nice, again. easy throw right into space. Will Chen. Fantastic. Gets the high five. You from see, his they teammate. clear that space out there. Perfectly executed. Well drawn up. Obviously, a drawn up play there by the, the coaching staff. Safety, Jackson, and Ruby doing a great job. And that's important. Each team now with just a, one timeout left. So it's important to make that timeout count. James Pollard, number 10 for San Francisco Dogfish. Adam Farron charging down the field now. He's got energy. He's on, right, on the disc right now. San Francisco fired up, looking to go up for the first time in this game. 10-yard oh, penalty. Crowd does not like it. Will Chen. Once again, San Francisco put on their double-team-like zone. They're, they're perfectly willing to give up that. Oh, and a nice oh, there. And a drop. Bid. Simon with another drop. Very uncharacteristic there from the Seattle player. And that was Bramman that got in there. Got his big body in there. Pollard to Brammer. To Pollard, who is quick, and he is working hard. Oh, and he's a big hammer. Unfortunately, he really had nothing, had nothing to do there. No, no, no one open. And Seattle will get the frisbee back with Holt. <laughs> Simon with the disc. Karlinski. San Francisco trying to regroup on defense slowly. Bremer working hard. So is Farron. O'Brien with the frisbee. San Francisco put on, about to put on the double team. Brammer and, and Farron, two big guys. A lot of reach. Oh, and they force a, force force a, a turnover. That's a double team effectiveness right there. And the double team with two big, powerful defenders in Brammer and Farron. San Francisco taking their time. Will Chen, James Pollard with the Frisbee. He's got Farron wide open. Oh, and a call. Brammer was wide open there, right outside the end zone, but a call of some sorts. I believe it's a timeout. Uh, unclear who called the timeout there, but Safty very excited, very happy by the defensive intensity of his players. 
Yeah, it was that double team there with uh, Bram and uh, a big body in there. And Farron, that error. Farron getting a high five from Coach Safty. So is Bram. Those two big boys shutting them down. Got to replay that D now. Okay. There goes Farron, not living with anything. And just putting it out of space. There was really no other opportunity. There's Hansel there with a, I don't think, number one from San Francisco. It was just ensuring the fact that they didn't get the easy. The easy and we'll swing. see if San Francisco can be uh, as effective as they were last point with the timeout. Yeah, the offensive Calling team a, is in. See if they have a play called here. They do have no more timeouts, but this is an important one. They do, hopefully, they didn't leave it. Too, they didn't call it too early. Too but early. I, I think Bramer was a little disappointed because he was right there on the end zone. But I think it's a smart move by Safety and the San Francisco coaching staff. Rasmussen with the frisbee. Double Being team. double teamed. He has Will Chen. Back to Rasmussen. Ooh. Oh, and too quick again. Now that's been the story of the game for San Francisco. The, a little bit too quick. A little bit not, not enough focus, not enough patience. But will they get it back? No more timeouts for San Francisco. Harkness. Oh, good bid to retain that. Will Chen. Very quick. Quickly on the mark. Will Chen again. Matt Sewell. Seattle being forced back. Number 21, Tyler Kinley. Reed Koss being guarded by uh, Sam Adamson with Belize. No, Boucher. Oh, oh we no. have a turn. Rasmussen to Boucher. San Francisco. They have time. Double team on. Nice. Rasmussen. Nicely found there by Will Chen. Drew Kim working. Ooh. Cheeky throw there to uh, Boucher. Boucher back to Rasmussen. To Drew Kim. Drew Kim with a flick. Oh, wow. a nice bid, but Rasmussen pulls it in. And he looks, and they score yeah. San Francisco. Woo. Anderson just grabs it and then stares. Steely stare by Anderson. Nice grab. Look at that. Wow. San Francisco is excited. The crowd is jumping up and down. Coach Ruby doing all sorts of dancing. Here it is. Rasmussen, he's waiting. He sees it. Anderson, club player, and catches it. And they look at that stare. He's looking around, looking for plaudits, and he gets them. Grant creates Watch the space. Here. Rasmussen nice cut in, turns cut his back. defender. Great break, inside break flick. Not much you can do if you're the defender there, that close to the end zone. Especially when you're trying to guard someone as quick as... Uh, he Anderson is right sneaky. There. And the crowd being brave, staying out there. It is not warm out there. It looks like it's winter in New York, and it's actually summer in San Francisco. Nobody's going home from this game. Dogfish up by one with two minutes to go. Mark Twain famously said, and I hate this quote, but he said <laughs> it. Never spent us. Actually, I can't even remember it. It's the, it's the summer in San Francisco is like a winter elsewhere or something silly. <laughs> Seattle, they're down for the first time in the game. And they quickly throw it away. First time of the season. Kaoka. San Francisco really putting the pressure. They've got momentum on their side. Dalman, 20 yards out of the end zone. To Bayless, to Kenner. Kenner, a tough, hard-working cutter here. And there's going to be half the distance to the goal line there. A little foul. By the way, it's the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in San Francisco. That was that was a good. Nice oh, and San easy. Francisco. Oh, tiptoes. Tippy toes on the line. Inside the line for a score. Sam Kenner to Russell win for a easy score. And San Francisco, three points in a row. This is wow. what we've been wanting for the whole game. They brought it in the second half. You know, it doesn't matter how you start the game, Sean. It's how you finish in San Francisco. Let's see this play again. And our keys of the game wow. coming to fruition. That's right. Seattle not showing the mental toughness they had in the first half when they just went nice and easy. The, the, the defense, San Francisco's upped up the defensive pressure. S Seattle a little rattled. They're making hasty plays. They're throwing stuff. They're doing late throws. They can't move the disc. Seattle in a position they've never been in all season. That is down. They've they've been uh, they've scored scored first and scored last and they've uh, never been behind in any of their games. And they have a m 
minute and 20 to get back. This is Still the, a lot of time left. A lot of Still time, lot but of you, time. you're going to think they might think they need to huck it. That definitely plays into San Francisco's defensive style. They've got the, the height advantage this time. Simon with the disc. Closely got it by... Uh, San Francisco needs to keep up that defensive intensity. Chance of defense from the crowds. Big hammer there. And Brammer oh, just brings rips that it out down. Of the air. Brammer just surrounded by Seattle players. Just goes up, takes the disc and says, mine. And gets it going. And there he is, wide open. Got all the time in the world. And San Francisco Almost content just game. to play Keepy with the disc. Brammer just wide open, is looking for the open player. Just using his big body, creating space. San Francisco just content to take the time of the clock. Nothing Seattle, Seattle can do big here. double team. Oh, oh. And a, a, a bit of a flop there. That was Chris Paul-esque there by Mario wow. Bryan. Wow. But that, is a f that was a, a call and nonetheless... San Francisco retains possession, but... No, and there's a foul. A foul in San Francisco. Wow. Both can play at that game. Getting a little chippy here. Yeah. But you know what? That's because both teams really want this game. They're both... And they both worked really hard. We saw a fantastic... Very competitive. Here. And a 10-yard thing. 20 seconds left. San Francisco just need to keep the disc. They can smell it. Sort of a quadruple team going on. Here. So, once again... Nice and easy. Hansel with the disc. They're using all of that stall count. Letting their handles, handlers control it. The oh, Pollard gets the disc. He's out of bounds, though. That Seattle get the turn. disc back, but it's less than two seconds. The That's the game. Simon with the throw. And San Francisco win! Unbelievable. What a great game, Sean. Just exactly what we thought, what we expected from this game. Two very competitive, highly skilled teams going at it, give and take. And Seattle coming out of San Francisco with the intensity in the second half. I wish I knew what Safdie said to them in that halftime. Two different teams and different halves in San Francisco. And, if, and, and if, if Seattle did play a decent second half, but San Francisco, their bench came up big. Players like Farron, players like Bremer, um, these are guys who, you know, weren't playing too much in the first half. They came, they put some great defense on that double team slash cup that they were doing. Really stifled Seattle's uh, creativity and quickness. And uh, and then their offense. They got their offense back. Rasmus in, in particular, right. Will Chen, Devin Anderson, Boucher. They all played great. A, a real team effort here by San Francisco. They missed their big guns, but they won anyways. Yeah, like you said, the big gun's not there. The, the bench coming up strong for San Francisco, filling in uh, nicely tonight. And there goes San Francisco. They go, they go cheer on the crowd. The crowd are excited. They, they, they were treated to a game. They're a little disappointed in the first half, but wow, what a... What a that, great finish. And, that, and, that's, and that's character. You know, that's, that's, that's each player really believing in each other. Uh, listening to the coaches. The coaches, look at look, look at Coach Safety there. He's excited. He, he's giving hugs adulation. to everyone. He doesn't even know who those people are. He deserves it. Very well coached down. Good strategy. Yeah. Calling timeouts at exactly the right time. Composing his team. Making the, the, the correct substitutions. At the right times. And, you know, I made the mistake of questioning whether or not that, that timeout was too early. Oh, but that cool. was the perfect time for that timeout. And they called that second time out their last one and uh, were able to score on that one as well. And Seattle Seattle were good. You know, they, they, they played very well. They're, they're an exciting team to watch. Their offense is spectacular. And they were missing some players, too. They were missing some of the defensive players. Absolutely. Uh, Dick Cohn. Uh, Matty Zemel, also a very quick uh, uh, quick handler type. So I think Seattle, when they're going to, you know, when, when San Francisco up there, it's going to be it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a different game. You know, San Francisco are going to have to work just as hard. Seattle will have their crowd behind them. And... Uh, um, exciting stuff. Yeah, great game. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, there'll be some uh, exciting games in the next Saturday. San Francisco is going to be at Portland. Um, what can we expect there? That's going to be a rematch. That was our first game of the season. With, um, with Much closer than I think we expected. Uh, San Francisco was favored by, uh, I believe, five and a half points, and they ended up winning by, by two or three. And Portland, and Portland are, are, are a young team. I think they're the youngest team in the league, and they're exciting. They're fun to watch. And uh, on the East Coast, New York will be at D.C. Um, I'm not quite sure about today's scores, but I knew New York hadn't won yet. Um, and um, this will be a big game because both 
Both these teams will meet for the first time, and they need to, you know, really work hard to get into contention. Absolutely, and, and perhaps it's it's early in the season to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. This could be a bit of a, a preview of, of what the uh, the final, the, the first playoff game could be with the top two Western teams with the Seattle and San Francisco and there, here. And there's Dougie. He did his part. He got the crowd excited because it was cold. And they might have been frozen, but he got them excited. There's a cartwheel. He might need to work on that. He's just really <laughs> displaying all his dance moves. That's that's got to hurt. Um, Making sweet love to that grass. I believe that's what you know dogfish do when they're not in the, in the water. Um, but yeah, come on, you little sharks. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much. Great uh, game, Sean. Great game, uh, Koyo. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. And thank you, next gen.